A number of parts must be cleaned on a regular basis. Do not use solvents, abrasive detergents or alcohol to clean the coffee machine. None of the components of the appliance can be washed in a dishwasher, with the exception of the drip tray grill and milk container. Do not use metal objects to remove encrustations or coffee deposits as they could scratch metal or plastic surfaces. How to clean the drip tray and grounds container. The drip tray is fitted with a red level indicator showing the level of water it contains. Before the indicator protrudes from the cup tray, the drip tray must be emptied and cleaned, otherwise the water may overflow over the edge and damage the appliance, the surface it rests on, or the surrounding area. In addition, when empty grounds container appears on the display, the grounds container must be emptied and cleaned. The appliance cannot be used to make coffee until you have cleaned the grounds container. Even if not full, the empty grounds container message appears on the display 72 hours after the first coffee has been prepared. For the 72 hours to be calculated correctly, the machine must never be turned off with the main switch. To remove the drip tray and grounds container, pull out the drip tray from the front of the machine, remove the grounds container, empty and clean thoroughly to remove all residues left on the bottom. This can be done using the spatula on the brush provided. Remove the cup tray and drip tray grill, then empty the drip tray and wash all components. Put the drip tray complete with grill and grounds container back in the appliance. If you make a number of cappuccinos one after the other, the metal cup tray becomes hot. Wait for it to cool down before touching it and handle it from the front only. Before cleaning internal parts, the machine must be turned off and unplugged from the mains power supply. Never immerse the coffee machine in water. Check regularly that the inside of the appliance, accessible after removing the drip tray, is not dirty. If necessary, remove coffee deposits with the brush supplied and a sponge. Remove all the residues with a vacuum cleaner. Always clean the hot water steam spout after use to avoid buildup of milk residues and prevent it from clogging. Place a container under the hot water steam spout and deliver a little water. To interrupt hot water delivery manually, press the selector corresponding to Stop. Wait a few minutes for the hot water steam spout to cool down then extract by pressing the release button. Hold the spout with one hand and with the other, turn the cappuccino maker and pull it downwards. Also remove the steam connection nozzle by pulling it downwards. Check the hole in the connection nozzle is not blocked. If necessary, clean using a toothpick. Wash all parts of the spout thoroughly with a sponge and warm water. Insert the connection nozzle and cappuccino maker on the spout by pushing them upwards and turning them clockwise until they are attached. Clean the water tank regularly, about once a month, and whenever you replace the water softener filter, with a damp cloth and a little mild washing up liquid. Rinse thoroughly before filling the tank and putting it back in the appliance. Remove the filter, if present, and rinse with running water. Replace the filter, if provided. Fill the tank with fresh water and replace the tank. Models with water softener filter only should deliver about 100 millilitres of hot water to reactivate the filter. Clean the coffee spouts regularly with a sponge or cloth. Check that the holes in the coffee spouts are not blocked. If necessary, remove coffee deposits with a toothpick. How to clean the pre-ground coffee funnel. Check regularly, about once a month, that the pre-ground coffee funnel is not blocked. If necessary, remove coffee deposits with the brush supplied. How to clean the infuser. The infuser must be cleaned at least once a month. It is important that the infuser is not extracted when the machine is switched on. 
Remove the water tank and open the infuser door on the right side of the appliance. Press the two coloured release buttons inwards and at the same time pull the infuser outwards. Soak the infuser in water only for about 5 minutes, then rinse under the tap. Do not use washing up liquid or place in the dishwasher. Use the brush to remove any coffee residues left in the infuser housing, visible through the infuser door. After cleaning, replace the infuser by sliding it onto the internal support. Push fully in until it clicks into place. How to clean the milk container. To keep the frother working efficiently, clean the milk container every two days. Remove the lid. Remove the milk spout and intake tube. Turn the froth adjustment dial anti-clockwise to the insert position and pull it off upwards. Wash all the components thoroughly with hot water and mild washing up liquid. All components are dishwasher safe, placing them in the top basket of the dishwasher. Make sure there are no milk residues on the hollow and groove under the dial. If necessary, scrape the groove with a toothpick. Rinse inside the froth adjustment dial seat with running water. Check that the intake tube and spout are not clogged with milk residues. Replace the dial in correspondence to the word insert, spout and milk intake tube. Place the lid back on the milk container. Cleaning the hot water steam connection nozzle. Each time you prepare milk, Clean the connection nozzle with a sponge to remove milk residues from the gaskets.